Mr. Salgado, congratulations for the win against Aeg. That was an important win. What are your comments for this game and on the performance of the team? Well, I'm really happy with for the win, not only for, uh, for me. Uh, the most important thing is the team. You know, I think the, the players have been working really hard in the last five, six days, and uh, you could see that you know, on the pitch. I think they made a, a great performance uh, with teamwork, uh, with intensity, with everything they were asked to do on the pitch. So um, as a coach, you, know, you need to be happy when your players, you know, they do whatever you, you, know, you ask them to do. Um, I think it was a, a turning point for us. It was a game with a lot of pressure because um, we haven't won in the last, uh, the club, you know, the fans, the players, everybody in Paphos, they haven't won in the last, uh, in the, I don't know if it's 10 weeks, at least two months without getting the flavor of a win. And it was uh, as well important because uh, it was against Larnaca, which in the end they were six points away from us, sitting in the third position. And um, for me it was a capital game. It was a, a win or maybe staying, you know, fighting in the rest of the season just for the fourth and fifth. And it's something that, of course, we don't want. Um, again, it was a great, uh, it was a great uh, game for everybody. But, uh, you know, it means nothing. It means just that, that the, first of all, that we have a team to go for more things. And the second thing is that now we need to be more humble and, and keep working really hard, you know, for the next, uh, for the next games. How difficult is it to train a team at this point of the championship and to prepare them for such difficult games? And how did the team react to such a huge change, the change of a coach? Yeah, it's very complicated, you know, to get a team at this point of the of the season. Actually, in the situation they were, you know, as I said, it was ten games without, I don't know, ten weeks without winning, and um, and of course with it with the team um, away from the from the real target and. Um, just two days before the semi-final cup, you know, which is uh, something historical for the for the club. So for the pressure is quite big, and uh, not a long time to work. Only one day to prepare the game against Omonia, and then only two days real because you have to do the the recovery to prepare a capital game in league against uh, Larnaca. So uh, as a coach, it's complicated to change things in only in only six days of training and two games in in between. But for me, the most important is, and the key factor, why I think uh, we beat Larnaca 4-0 and, and we enjoy this, this moment, is because the answer from the, from the players has been fantastic. You know, um, it's not easy to change the intensity. Now we are training with more intensity, longer training sessions, and adapting to that is not, it's not the same. Our way to, to play, our way to perform is going to be different as well. You can see the intensity during the game. And if you don't have intensity in the training sessions, you cannot have intensity in the game. So bodies to adapt, the players to adapt is not, is not easy. So I uh, have to be really thankful with the players. Uh, they, are, they are getting the, a great answer to it. And, um, and now little by little, I think you know, they will understand what, what I want. But for a coach, it's, as I said, it's quite complicated to get a team uh, at this moment of the season. How does the preparation roll for the next game? Well, at least, you know, we have uh, 10 days, nearly nine days, you know, before the, the first game. Again, it's not only one game, really, because in five days we play two very important games. First, Apollon away from home, uh, which is a team that is coming in, um, in a great run of results. Um, and then we have, uh, well, something that is very important for the club, for the fans, for everybody, which is the, the second leg of the semi-final of the cup, where we have the chance, you know, to go to the, to the final. Which we, you know, it would be for Puffos something, something very, very big. We know that, so we need within these ten days prepare the the team, not only physically but more important mentally, for the two games that we're going to play, uh, 21st and 26th. So the preparation it will be the same, but we need to make a, a special attention, you know, to the to the mental preparation. How did you see our fans? They are always there supporting our team in every single game. What is your message to our blue and white fans? Well, I can feel the difference, you know. Uh, I came three years ago as, let's say, a sports director in the end of the season as well in a difficult situation and we did it. Last year I came only for two games as well. And you can see every year, you know, the, the answer from the fans, uh, the, you know, the bigger amount of fans coming to support Paphos, uh, a bigger community, you know, now paying attention to the team and to the club and that's really very positive you know you can see now the, the field with a lot of support 
Um, in the cup, it was it was an amazing atmosphere, and even against Larnaca, for us, it was it was important. Every time you know you score a goal, you can feel you can feel the support of the people, you can feel the passion they go right now. And uh, what I can tell them is that we're going to give our best now in in a crucial moment of the season. Um, you know, to to try to achieve our our targets. We know that they are very excited about the cup, very excited about trying to get uh, into Europe. And it's something that we have in mind and of course we need them to try to, to achieve this goal. Thank you so much Mr. Salgado and good luck for your next game. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank, Thank you. you.